Hello there, my name's Vince from My Mate Vince, and in this video today we're going to be trying to fix up a needing massager. Here it says on the inside, your personal masseuse has arrived. I like the sound of that. Now, this was sent in by Stuart from Infinite Bargains over on eBay, Infinite Bargains for you, so check out his shop. I will link in the description down below. Now, he said that uh, when he first of all got it, he plugged it in, and after about 10 or 15 seconds, there was a strong burning smell from the middle of it. So I thought, oh, that might be interesting. Now, when it arrived to me about a month ago, I plugged it in and basically from memory, the light came on, the heat came on here, but nothing happened with any of the other buttons. But right now, nothing's happening. Oh, sorry, there we go. The lights are on now, there. Yeah, same thing. Do you know what? I tried that a minute ago and there was no light on. So the lights are on there, but can you see it's not moving when I hit these things here? And also, I can't feel any heat being generated. What this is supposed to be is a heat setting, and these are supposed to spin round and give you a nice massage on different parts of your body. Mainly, I think it's gonna be made for your neck, but to make it more interesting, they show various other parts of your body that you can massage as well. But uh, yeah, so you can see there that it's not spinning round, and you have to take my word for it that there's no heat either being generated. So, it looks like it's going to be safe to work on because we just have a power supply, uh, an external power supply here. So luckily there's not no mains going into it. Let's just see. It's supposed to be outputting 12 volts, 2.5 amps. Let's just see what it is actually outputting just to make sure that we have got the correct voltage on it. Is it sensor pin positive? It is. 12 volts. So there we go. That looks okay to me. So that's all going to be all right. Let's get into this and see if we can work out what's what. So I've seen earlier that there's a zip that you undo all the way along. So let's undo the zip. So maybe what he smelled was, if it's not heating up, maybe whatever does the heating has, uh, has failed. And I don't know why it's not spinning. So we have the power thing coming in here. So we have got power going to this board, but maybe the rest of the buttons are not working. Right, okay, so this is just Velcroed in with then a bit of hot snot glue. Well, first of all, let's check the other buttons just in case there's some problem with the actual uh, buttons here. Oh, they've they got a nice click to them. They really have. Right, let's see if we've got continuity on them all. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and I'm just going to go the other side just in case it's running down those tracks. Right, they're working. So now, where do they run up to? Let me kind of take this out completely. Oh, we've got a bolt. Interesting. I don't know where that's come from. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. That's running around these. What on earth? Is that for heat? Oh, what's going on there? Looks like we've got some sort of like silicon gel or something on it. Are they spring loaded? Yes, they are. Well, that's kind of interesting. So these are supposed to spin. I'm just a bit. See, there's hair in here, so maybe it has been. Uh, maybe it has actually been in use. Look, we've got another hair here. So maybe it has worked for a while. It just everything looks brand new on it. Uh, okay, that's slightly. Is this one coming off? Oh, we're supposed to have a bolt going through here. So it's supposed to be screwed into place. Right, okay, at least we know where the mystery bolt's from. But that's not gonna stop it from, that's not gonna stop it from working, is it? Right, so that's that. I wonder, can we get rid of this then? Because it'd be a lot easier to work on. Yeah, I can pull that through here. There we go. And let's cut that cable tie. Excellent. We're free. Ah, that's better. Okay, it looks like a weird bra. Now, how are we gonna, uh, I suppose we just need to start undoing screws and see if we can work out what's, what's what. Maybe we can take this whole central thing out. Let's undo these, I'll have more room. Right, so this is just a connector block. So the 
in the external uh, power supply gets connected through to here into here and then I mean I don't know what's on the other side of this but oh 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 oh, oh. I thought it was going to be nothing but it is look something is burnt and mangled have a look at that well that's what Stuart smelt that component there that an awful lot of heat has been generated there. Is there any remains of any marking on that? Let's zoom right in. I wonder if that to do with the heat. This might be shorting something out, you see. Right, there is a little bit of a mark there. Four sixty nine twelve at the ends. What's this one here? Has that got a mark on it? No, no mark on that. And what about this one up here? For, oh, it might be the same as that then. 4606C912. 4606C912. Yes, excellent. It's the same as that chip there. Right, why would we need two chips? I wonder. Well, first of all, let me see what they are. Let me Google that. The good news is they are available to purchase but this is from China so it's going to take a long time to come through but I probably will be able to find a UK seller. Uh, they're just down as a MOSFET. I'll give you the uh, data sheet. It doesn't really tell me the description of what they are. Well I don't know what this means but I could google it. They're a complementary high density trench MOSFET. Trench. I really don't know what that means but look you can see there that there's eight pins and these are eight pins here. So uh, you know, often it will say used in and it will give you sort of applications it's used in. So I don't know. What I'm thinking is, is one used to, is one used for the heat. Do you know what? Maybe one is used for the heat on this side. One is used for the heat on this side. And maybe that's to like drive the motors or something. I mean, right now it's not doing anything apart from lighting up. So I think what we should do is let's take this off because as you can see, it's 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 completely unsoldered itself and it's slid all the way along here. I mean it is ridiculously crooked. So I think we should uh I think we should take it off and then basically we'll know what that's for. It might not work at all, or maybe it will all work and just one won't heat, or maybe it will all work and one won't spin or something like that, and then we'll have a better idea of uh, what's what. Now are these these are not idiot proof. I'm gonna take a picture of these. Oh, look at that, it's melted into the plastic here, look! There was some serious heat in that there, wasn't there? Yeah. Now, it might be well be welded to the board, so I might have to kind of pry it as the solder melts. There we go, that came off lovely and easy. Right, so those tracks are completely missing there and that one that was hanging on has now gone. So let me get some solder wick. And then we'll see what's supposed to be there. Gonna give that a good clean up with some isopropyl alcohol. Right, unfortunately, it's charred right into the board, but let's see if we can work out what's happening. That one's gonna be going to here, which doesn't exist anymore. So that's fine, because we can just jump, right, that pin is fine. That's still connected to here and here. This one, we can just do a jumper from here to that pin. And I think that one there is gonna be going off to, let's have a look. Where are you going to? Here. So that's traveling down through the middle here to here. So again, that's fine. In fact, the, the, we might even be able to jump us straight onto that pin on the leg of the replacement chip. Ow, and this one goes to here, yeah. And this is this one here. Right, so that all makes that all makes sense. So that one's to there, so we can jump it from there to there. We can jump it from there round to here, and that one will be okay. 
Yeah. Right, okay, I'm going to scrape away here. Let's get rid of all this horrible fiberglass. Right, there you go. You can see now that's much, much, much cleaner than it was before. So there's nothing's going to be short into each other there. You know, I could even maybe try to just remake the tracks with some copper tape. One across here, one across here, and one across here. Might be, uh, might be nicer. Right, I think I am going to put it back together and see if I can work out what's, what's what. I don't know whether these would be used for the heat or for the motors. Let's see what's working. Right, so still nothing is happening. Now it's not going to light up because we haven't got, you know, these things connected to it. Let's just see if we've got any voltage on there. No. And no. Now let's turn it on. Yes, 12 volts. And 12 volts okay I'm just a bit confused why if we have 12 volts here on both of them why we haven't got any heat being generated so before we order up the chips let's unplug this and let's see if we can work out what's going on here so I presume now there should be a resistance reading is it only when you push them down yeah so there you go five ohms Yeah, three ohms, I'm sure that's going to be fine. Let's just open them up to see what's uh, what's going on. Just curious as to what's inside, giving it the heat. You sure it's just not a little light? Right, so, it's connecting against these two things here. So when you press these down, can you see the springs are connecting on these two bits? Oh my word, it's a little, uh, <laughs> it's uh, incandescent bulbs, isn't it? Tell you what, let's get the bench power supply. Let's put 12 volts in at a very low, uh, a very low amperage. Let's see if they give off any heat. Right, okay, this is only uh, 200 milliamps. Yeah, there you go. Why is it so, uh, why does it dim down so low straight away? Is it because there's not enough? Is it the amperage? Let me up the amps. Right, that's 1.5 amps. Yes, yeah, the amperage. Are they gonna get warm? Oh yeah, they do, fair play. Yeah, they do get warm. Right, okay. Right, it's been about five minutes later now. I've just put it back together off sorts. Obviously, I still need to order the chip. I just wanted to see if heat is being generated and fair play, right now it is. I can actually feel it. And because this fabric here is quite thin on those bits, you would actually be able to feel that if it was on like your bare neck. Let me just show you here. If you have a look here. Yeah, there you go. I'll fast forward through this bit. Right, I'm bored of waiting, but you get the idea there. You can see it's slowly, slowly creeping up, but by no means is it hot. But it probably feel quite nice on your bare neck. Right, okay, so uh, let me see if I can get one of these chips and get it installed. So it's a few days later now, and my four chips have arrived. I removed the other one as well, because I was actually doing some testing off camera, and it's quite interesting how it works. I, I think I've got it in my head, but I don't know how off I am but basically it looks like each chip here is a MOSFET but it's uh, an N channel MOSFET and a P channel MOSFET so one side is going to be all drains and then we've got like a gate one, source one, 
gate two, source two. So it's kind of two MOSFETs in the one package. I think what happens is, the reason we've got two of them is because it's to allow the switching off the motor to go one way and then the other way. Now, I don't know why it's P and N, maybe you can put it down in the comments down below, but would it be that when this one is N and this one is P, it's going, for example, clockwise, and when this one is P and this one is N, it might be going counterclockwise. That's how I kind of read it. What was interesting is when I put voltage into it, this would be like gate one here, I think it was gate one. The voltage will change depending on the intensity, so there's a button for intensity to have it like, you know, an easy massage, a medium massage, and a hard massage. And uh, the voltage will change on here. It will go from like 4.7 to 5 point something to 6 point something, depending on the intensity. So by doing that, it must then allow the source to, would it, would it allow more voltage through or something? To then, you know, put more power into the motor, or would it be more current? Not too sure about that. And this one here is for the, switching off the switches so when you hit the switches different ones here will connect to this side so on here they all go to this side here and then from here they all go to for example the uh, the either the heat or the MOSFETs here so it's all kind of interesting and it sort of makes sense in my head but I could be one out there now I'm in two minds because I know for the video it would look nice if I do nice little traces, but who's gonna see this? Do you know what, to begin with, I'll try the copper tape, but if I'm getting nowhere and if it just keeps like sticking to each other and stuff, then I'm just gonna run wires because that would only take uh, that would only take a few minutes to do. So I've got my copper tape here. You can see that's what it's like. And I've got my UV light and I've got my UV solder mask here. So let's get going. It's gonna take me probably realistically <laughs> About 45 minutes, I reckon, to do this. So I'll tell you what, let's uh, let's time it, because I think it's going to take 45 minutes. Now, uh, I'm going to fast forward through it uh, with a little bit of music. Give a shout out to the My Mate Vince Massive as well. And uh, yeah, let's see what it comes out like. So the members of the My Mate Vince Massive this month are kitdigital.com, longest serving member, followed closely behind by Kip Hakes, Max Rokotansky, Having Fun Repairs, Will Michaelis, Chris Seal, Felipe at MrKeebs.com, DJVG, Pigsy, Robert from Timsey's Auto Air, Daniel Watson, Zeke C, Anthony Dean, Bazza2, Operational 117, Russ Melanson, Save Our Stuff, and Ellis Garbert. So massive thank you guys. And now kick back, relax, listen to the music, and hopefully this soldering will go well. Right, I am, I'm gonna use the word flabbergasted about how well that went. That took me, let's have a look, six minutes, which is uh, crazy. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a tiny bit of flux now just to try to flatten down this one here. There we go, let's do this one. There. Right, let's get some solder mask on that. I'm just gonna clean it with some IPA. Well, I think that looks quite nice. So now let's get the UV light on that. Leave it for about 15, 20 minutes or so. And then hopefully be able to solder the chip on. 
So let's take a couple of these chips out. I think I'm just going to hand solder them in with the soldering iron rather than hot air. I'm so, so sorry. I thought I was recording. I wasn't. Anyway, this one was nice and easy to do because obviously it's flat to the board. This one I've done this side, but I'm having to push down on the legs on this side because remember, I've got to overcome the solder mask. So I'm having to kind of, uh, you know, bend the legs very much downwards. Because this chip is raised up, you see. So it's not going to look nice on this side at all. As long as they make a contact, then it doesn't matter. Right now, I know that looks horrible, but it will actually, uh, you know, they're not bridged across each other. You can see how much it's raised up because of the solder mask. Yeah, but they are, uh, they're all going to be making a contact. So let's give it a clean up and see what it looks like when it's, uh, when it's cleaned up. Sorry that I wasn't filming there. But I put this one on with the soldering iron. I put them both on with the soldering iron. Right, well, there we go. You can see now that nothing is bridged. And both of them have been changed over and there's plenty of solder on them. So I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with the repair with the, uh, with the copper tape. I think it went well. Right, let's put this together and see if the motors are gonna start moving. Right, here goes, what do you think, yes or no? I'm gonna say yes, but then again, did something burn out that chip in the first place? Is it going to go bang? Let's unplug it from here just for the time being. Now, I'm plugging in the power supply. I'm plugging in this. Okay, now, turning on now. Results, excellent. Does it do different speeds? Yes. Yes, excellent. Uh, Let's go the other way. Yes, it works. And turn the heat off and back on again. Result, is it getting warm? No. I wonder would it be worth putting heat sinks on? It's a MOSFET. Uh, would it be worth putting heat sinks on them or not? Is there gonna be, I mean, there's plenty of room down there, isn't there? Do they even get hot? Let's leave it on for a while. I'm just gonna see if these warm up. Well, it was going for a minute or so, and then it stopped and it reversed the other way. So it must be on like a program thing, which is good. So you don't have to reverse it. Obviously you can choose to reverse it, but uh, so you can see now that this one is going counterclockwise. Let me leave it for a while. I'll just fast forward through. Let's see after another minute, whether it starts going clockwise. I'm just gonna start tidying up. Yay, there we go, you see, it's done it again. Right, are these getting warm? It must be every minute it changes over. They are not getting warm. Nothing on this board's getting warm. They call this heat, but uh, <laughs> it's very little heat. Right, excellent, let's get it back together and uh, finish the video with me giving myself a nice massage. What's up, I'm ready next. Oh, thank you so much. See you soon, Jim. Hope you're feeling better. Oh, that's it. A little bit higher. Yeah. Oh, touch lower. Oh, you're very good at this. Have you been doing it for a long time? Have you been busy today? What, my problems? Oh, I haven't got many problems. 
Rolls Royce insurance being 10 times more than I thought it would be. Kids never doing their homework. People bragging on Facebook, not knowing the even most basic of electronic components. My finger's still not healed a month later. YouTube thumbnails. What? What do you mean you're not interested? But have you seen the YouTube thumbnails? I can't take any more faces. What? Yeah, you're right. It is a race to the bottom. That's it. Oh, you, that's it. Perfect. Ah, oh, very good. I've cut my cucumber too thick. Ah, that's it. Ah, oh. I would like to say it's relaxing, <laughs> but what I'm feeling is more pain than relaxation. I think it's more like a Turkish massage, and I've got cucumber in my eye. Stuart, thank you. I'm gonna have to wash my eyes out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Ah. Oh.